RV life at its best. <laughs> We're like trying to find parking in San Francisco. <laughs> we, it's not easy. There's like these red, it's everywhere. And then there's all these signs saying you can't park here. But um, Paige needed an emergency van cleaning. See? <laughs> but part of van life. Can I borrow your vacuum neighbor? <laughs> Santa Cruz, California. Uh, this is one of our favorite stops of the whole year. Um, usually we get two weekends back to back in Santa Cruz, but this year it's just one. It's one of our favorite stops. You guys are gonna love my shirt, by the way. Torchies, tacos, tacos, tacos. I did promise Bobby that I would get some shots of spout this time, so enjoy some spout videos. Poor thing. It's a travel day. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that's like important to you to do on a travel day since it's like 10 hours or more sometimes? What, what's your go-to? Two main go things. Drink a lot of water so we have more potty breaks so we can <laughs> get off the road, but also to hydrate. Uh, and secondly, spout. Thirdly, um, <laughs> even though I said there's only two, Thirdly, roll out, stretch, get the body moving because when you're in the RV and you're sitting for so long, your muscles just just will not release easily. So you just keep that blood flowing and it helps a lot in the longevity of feeling good. What are you doing? You know to go outside, you hear all the birds. You go play with the birds. They don't want to play with you. They might. <laughs> Since we're here, that means it's time to practice. So I'm going to go out to uh, some of the practice rounds for our DD players and ask them a couple questions. I kind of want to know what they do for their free time. I mean, I know what we do, but uh, I want to see what they do when they're not actually playing a tournament. Paige, what do you do for fun if you're not playing a tournament or traveling? Oh, that's a hard question. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> hanging out with friends, watching movies, probably my go-to. I love a good movie. With Grady? Yes. Nice, dude. Good. Is that good? Awesome. <laughs> four feet right. Let's four, go. Four feet right. How far is this Team hole? Judge. Uh, Two hundred and seventy-six feet. And you're throwing a judge. Yes. <laughs> judge. <laughs> what do you do for fun if you're not playing a tournament or pra or traveling? What do you do? Uh, since we're in like a really cool part of the country in California, I like to like go see the west coast like the the ocean i like going to the santa cruz boardwalk i like seeing cool sights that i haven't seen before this this year it was the first time i've ever seen the pacific ocean cool We got Zoe and Erica here, Team Wessa and Team Dee Dee. What do you guys do for fun when you're not playing disc golf or traveling? Um, everything that basically involves the maximum amount of like energy and excitement and smile power, you know. Um, 
a lot of kind of snowboarding and skiing activities yeah. in the cold, Anything fluffy outdoors, powder. I think, you know. Waterfalls and hot springs are a good option any time of year. Mm -hmm. um, freestyling or cribbage with your friends is good. Really <laughs> freestyling good. and cribbage. Yeah. Simultaneously, ideally. At the same Freestyle time. Cribbage. At the same time. Yeah, anything outside, man. My background. Well, but I can't throw yet. Paige, what do you do for fun when you're not playing disc golf? Is this really? You're rolling right now? It's rolling. Okay. It's a real question. But I don't have a lot of battery. Yeah. Paige, what do you do for fun that isn't disc golf? Um, really it doesn't matter just as long as I'm with my friends, but mostly anything competitive. Um, I just like to compete. Like in what? In general. Anything. Pool, ping pong, darts. A lot of those are hand-eye coordination, so I guess I like that. Also Catan. Catan, lots of board games, cribbage. Anything really where I can just be with my friends and laugh, but I like to be by water also. Lots of things. Yeah, I like stuff. So many things. I like the things in this world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cut it. Yeah. Is that? You should put that pole down there. Yeah. Build. What do you do when you lose a disc? Do you call Robert? Do you have backups? Mostly do you just I cry? Go in the water for him. Yeah? Go swimming? Most of the time. Or get your friends to do it? Luke? Oh. <laughs> How much is she paying you? <laughs> Friendship? Friendship dollars. I don't know. This one I'm probably going in for because it's the day before the tournament and I don't have time to replace it. But usually if it's after a tournament, you can just get a new one off the shelf, honestly. You're like a boss? Yeah! yeah! Thank you. The crop's gone, but at least you got the disc. <laughs> All right. awesome. So on a non-tournament day and a non-travel day, what do you usually do for fun? Uh, recently I picked up a Nintendo DS, so I've been playing a little Pokemon. Yeah. But I Tina and I usually go to movies, and um, I honestly think that that's probably one of my favorite things that we get to do. Because there's something about movie theater popcorn, holding hands and just enjoying a good movie. And we do it a lot and I love it. So it's my favorite thing. For sure. For sure. Hey Eric. Hey. So what do you usually do when it rains during a practice run? What do you focus on? Uh, I honestly am just trying to understand what I would be doing if I was in a tournament round and throwing a comfortable shot because you know when the rain picks up it's very very easy to try and do too much and if you can just put yourself in play and allow the golf to be easier and you have to make less decisions the less the rain impacts your round and uh that's pretty important i would say what disc was that that was a moonshine lucid x villain why, actually, do, why do I even ask what disc you threw? I know, you should know it's a felon. Okay. <laughs> it's the last day of Masters Cup. Um, I'd be lying if I said that I wanted to be outside today. It's finally beautiful, so I'm happy to be out here. We're finishing up the tournament. It's been really rainy and wet and kind of miserable, so I'm kind of glad it's over. Last day on the ball golf course, chasing around uh, some players. It's been fun though. It's just not, not ideal weather. It's crazy that we choose this as our job to be outside every weekend, no matter the conditions, so. Am I supposed to talk to him? Travel together oh. pretty often. What do you usually do for fun if you're not playing? Uh, I usually try to bother Jordan as much as possible <laughs> until he gets really mad at me. Yeah, that's kind of true. And just kind of explore like the area we are in. Like last weekend we were in San Francisco. We went to the baseball game. 
just to kind of explore the city, just kind of take it all in. So we've been watching a lot of like NBA basketball, uh, the playoffs lately. We both mess around with like different disc golf games on our phone. We watch YouTube and just try to explore. Take it all in. I went down, like went around the backside of the big tree, all the way down into the pit. I was 30, 40 feet down from the basket and saved my par. So dumb. Throwing <laughs> back through nothing. Like that that was the moment I knew that it was like, today's gonna be okay. We have nothing to worry about, just play golf. It's gonna be fine. Need more moments like that in my life. It'd be sick. This is like a three year tradition. We always come to the Boardwalk Bowling Alley for uh, karaoke on Sunday night. It's so much fun. We have like a group of 15 people to come in tonight. It's fun. It's fun. Up next night, AJ. It's Santa Cruz Miss, and we're doing a starter pack challenge. We got me, Kevin Jones, Nate Sexton, Eagle McMahon, and Brian Earhart. Central Coast is out here. Thanks, Ian Anderson and his whole crew for making so this happen. So what disc do you have? I have a truth, some putter that's not very good, and the escape. What putter is that? Uh, judge. <laughs> Strawberry cheesecake. Wow. Get in it. Strawberry Ooh. cheesecake. Wow. Oh, oh that's yeah. a smart play. Oh. That's a smart that's a play. Smart play. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a wrap on the Masters Cup in Santa Cruz. Um, this place is amazing, and I'm kind of bummed that we had kind of crappy weather while we were here. It's probably one of the most favorite stops for all of the touring players, honestly. It's like a little vacation. It's right on the water. It smells like ocean. It's pretty awesome. Um, so now we jump in the RV, and we have a 10 and a half hour drive up to Portland, Oregon for the next event, which starts actually on Thursday. No, actually on Saturday. It's a Saturday through Monday because of Memorial Day. So this will be an interesting one as well. Yeah, so we're gonna go get some hours in. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bonus footage! <laughs> Paige, how do you feel about things that aren't in this world? <laughs> pretty, po pretty good. <laughs> I would go there. <laughs> Uh, I would definitely go there. It's good interview material. You're a good interview. Thank you. <laughs> but do you think that's going to be possible in our lifetime? To go to space? To go? We could pay to to go to space? I actually don't... I think that it could be. I don't think... I think we already are going. And... Yeah, but like commercially, you, you, Zoe, and Dyke would be able to pay to go to space. Uh, only for like multi-millionaires. Yeah. They're going to... If they're, it's we gonna better be start making money. In our lifetime. <laughs> we gotta start making you know, money. We need disc golf to Clearly really start our, turning our over. Might be in the wrong career. <laughs> our priorities are 
get to space, right? Will this that defender get me the birdie and make me get it out of space? Space money. We're gonna call it space money. You think? Two G's. Okay. Come on. I need the stages <laughs> for our space ride. Space jam. Space ride. All right. Crunch. Nice shot. Well, it's not, okay. it's not hard. 